Hello and welcome to the show. It is freezing here, so I figured I might as well put on a coat, and it's working so far. Now let's get straight into the first subject of the day. In 1767, the jigsaw puzzle was invented. The person who invented it was actually a London map maker and an engraver himself. So obviously he would do it, wouldn't he? John Spilsbury was his name. And he created it as a way of teaching geography to his students. The way he did it was actually as you would think of. He put a map over a piece of wood and cut around the borders using none other than a handsaw. It was a was a fine bladed one, obviously, because you wouldn't be able to do it with any other kind. Unless you don't know it would work, which I don't, but I just read it off there. I've never really seen the point in puzzles, to be honest. Well, puzzles, yes. Jigsaw puzzles, no. Because whenever I do them, there's always a piece missing or I just can't figure it out. The one jigsaw that I would have successfully done on my own had 27 pieces, but there was a piece missing on that one, so I couldn't finish it. And the one that I had the least amount of help with was a 12,000 piece that uh, I tried a long time ago with some people and we all failed, so we sold it on. Which is probably why it was so cheap for us to buy in the first place. Now when there's no internet, puzzles can be good. But apart from the fact that when there is no internet, it means you're somewhere, either you're busy or you're too tired to do so. Or do something else. So it really depends on what you're on about. I'll come back to this bit when we were on about when the Sudoku puzzle was invented. But on to the next bit. 1857. William Howard Taft's birthday. Now he is the 27th president of the United States of America. He only served for one term which is probably why I've never heard of him. Now while he was in office, Arizona and New Mexico joined the Union, which I still don't know what that means. Is that like they're now part of the United States or is that is the United States just the country? I don't know. I haven't read up on it and I don't particularly want to because I've got too much stuff in my head at the moment and they're all useless facts. I'd hate for one of them to be moved out because of something that I need to know. He was also appointed Chief Justice of the US Supreme Court. So good going there. This is too uncomfortable. That's better. Oh, I look so tired. Yeah. Okay. On to the next one. 1928, Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin. I'm not sure if we use penicillin in the UK and stuff in England. We probably do. But we just call it antibiotics. I don't know if we call it penicillin or not. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. I don't think I've ever had them, but I must have really, wasn't I? But anyway, yes, penicillin is very important. Before that, people used to die of such trivial things such as sore throats and colds and all that stuff. Which I still think is ridiculous. Who dies of a sore throat now, even if they don't take penicillin? But people could argue that penicillin is one of the reasons for overpopularization. People are about people that are having too many kids and stuff. No, it's because the kids are staying alive. I know that's a bad thing to say, but it's true. If more people died from stuff that would have killed people before medicine, like, well, me, I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for medicine. So, you know, I can say this without being shot in the face by an angry pigeon. I don't know what that means, but it's true. I, I wouldn't be here, so why can't I say these things? It's because of the fact that people are living too, too good a life, well, not too good a life, too much of a life because of medicine that helped them not die and to the fact that without medicine people would they wouldn't live to like over 40 because what isn't it that isn't the human body only designed to live like 40 years is it like you know whatever like dogs are only supposed to live to six years but because of medicines and stuff i don't know i have no idea but it's something to do something like that like the vaccinations when they're born and all that people kind of live longer and I don't know who said it, but I heard something yesterday about this when I was talking about it. And it's someone said that the world is self-regulated. So if all medicines went out of the world, then the, it, it would all it would all regulate. It would all go back to the way it was, where people would just they would live and then die, and then other people would be born and stuff happens. And there wouldn't be all over popularization. I can't say that word fast. People are about the government going out and stuff. It's because there's too many people in the world, and the ill people stay alive. But go go on benefits. I I understand this. I am on them at the moment. But you know I can't help it. I'm ill, and this is ah four minutes out of my day to ramble. Ah. So yes, that's it from me on that subject because I'm going too far. Today is also national. Don't know if it's national. Today is also make a hat day. I can't do this because I'm no good at the. Uh, I don't know. I'll use my calendar. So it is a. So, it is a fun day if you're in school and bored, because then you don't do as much work. So make yourself a hat today. Do it, because it's good for the environment, even though you're wasting trees. Or you could just buy a hat, I guess. Be easier. I have enough hats to last me if I wore one a day for about three weeks. Which isn't much, but it's more than most people should have. 
I don't know. I always go on about women have too many clothes and shoes and stuff. I have a crap load of hats, but they all fit in a bag. Like just a small bag because they're all like this. Technically, I don't know if this is a hat or not. It's a bandana, but does that classify as a hat? Anyway, so I am going to do something and people have said this to me for a while now. And it's I don't like my uh, not wearing a hat because I, I always have done, I guess. So one person has said to me that I should wear a different hat in each video I do. Now that means that I have to kind of buy more hats because I don't have a year's supply. But no, I don't mind. I'll just sort of go as it goes. But that is it from me today. I have to rush off because I have something to do now. So thank you for watching. If you liked it, thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Favorite it if you want to. Send it on to everybody else, if you will. And thank you for watching again. And I will see you tomorrow.